Hello, good evening. I am enjoying that you are here again. This evening I will read for you the fifth story of Annika in Fairyland. It's called Elves. That comes from Helps. You are back. That makes me very happy. And how happy the fairies, the little angels, the hyper roses and the elves are. Well, I'm going to tell you this in complete confidence. Last night, in her dreams, Annika, she was in Fairyland again. She really wanted to play with Ritaxela. Well, first of all, she wanted to get to know him personally, you know. Her thoughts had already reached out to Red Naxela and they had been very polite to one another, which we know is always a good start to getting to know each other. Erika wanted to befriend Red Naxela. She sensed the elf boy was looking for real, true friendship. When she arrived in the dream, in the night sleep, you know, at the long hedge of the hybrid tea strawberry hill, Red Naxela was already waiting for her. Of course, the tiniest opening that ever existed in the hedge of the hybrid tea strawberry hill was just right for Annika. The hybrid roses had done an excellent job. Besides, all children would fit through this opening in the future. But only the fairies knew that at the time. Not even the hybrid roses who had done all the work were allowed to know that. Not yet. Ritnaxela waited Annika with a nectar of rose blossoms, of which rose is not known. That was his secret receipt and a juice of mint. He offered Annika the refreshment. She took the drink and drank it in a big gulps. It was just wonderfully thirst quenching and tasted wonderfully elfish. The elf boy hovered in front of her with the most delicate wings imaginable, a transparent net as if made of the finest glass. From two pairs of wings, the elves were related to the dragonflies, enabled to the elves to do all sorts of tricks when flying, so the elves could suddenly change direction, or stand in the air like Ritnaxila just did, or even, and that was really impressive, to fly backwards. Annika was thrilled. She held her left arm outstretched. Through the left half of her heart, the oxygenated blood flowed into her body and she wanted to give some of this living power of her heart to the elf boy. As if on a secret call, Red Naxela immediately flew onto Annika's forearm, stopped fluttering and tamely folded the almost invisible pairs of wings on his back. Annika smiled. Red Naxela smiled too. I want to give you a secret, said Red Naxela. I love secrets and I love gifts, Annika whispered. The word, the name, the appellation, elf or the elves. It comes from Huffs. <laughs> he giggled conspiratorially. Oh, that's nice, exclaimed Annika. It suits you and the other elves so well too. You are always and everywhere ready to help. That's what I like about you. Thank you. Red Naxila was a very humble, extremely reserved elf boy. His simple thank you meant a lot. That's how they two became friends. Annika brought her arm close to her and gently blew Red Naxila off her arm. As he flew away, when he had almost disappeared into the long hedge of the strawberry hybrid tea hill, Annika heard him calling again and again. See you soon in Fairyland. See you soon in Fairyland. See you soon in Fairyland. 
that was it for today. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed it. Then give me a click. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Sleep well. We hear us and see us tomorrow. Bye-bye.